Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm back here at Cloud Crossing Farm on the top of the mountain near my house to film part two of a two-part episode on toads mating. In part one, we saw the arrival of six male toads to this tiny pond at my friend's house. And my friend called me today and said, Frank, you gotta come, the female has arrived. You gotta see what's going on. And it's really amazing. So this is part two of two episodes on toads mating, and we're gonna see what happens in this video when the female arrives at the pond. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. So in part one of this episode, we visited the pond at nighttime and watched the activities of these male frogs and uh, it's been about five days since we were there and we're back here during the daytime because there is a single female toad has arrived attracted by all the calling of these male frogs now you can see that this female toad has another toad on her back according to biological research the female selects the toad to mate with that's the loudest and perhaps the strongest here in the group or perhaps this toad here has just been lucky enough to grasp onto her and not let go. The female and the male in this state is called amplexus. And amplexus is where the male toad with these very strong front arms grasps the female from behind and hangs on. They may stay like this for hours and eventually the female will begin to lay her eggs, and as she does, the male will fertilize them as they emerge. They may stay like this for four hours or sometimes a whole day. Now let's take a look at the other male toads and see what they're doing. You can see that these males have not given up. Some of them are calling, some of them are swimming around, they're jumping at each other. The males continue to spar with each other, both physically and by trying to outcall the other. Oftentimes, males will think that another male toad is a female in the water and they'll jump on them and try to grasp them as well. The males will make a different kind of sound that sounds kind of like a clucking that is an indicator to the other toad that, hey, I'm a male, release me now. And it usually is released shortly thereafter. It's very different sound from the trill that they use to call for the female. always amazing to watch the males do their trill, which may last up to 30 seconds. And they do it by breathing air into their lungs, closing their mouth and nostrils, pushing their air back into expandable balloon-like extension below their mouth, and then slowly releasing that air to vibrate over the vocal cords and to create this trill that you hear now. You'll also see that whenever the mated pair that are in amplexus comes close to them, they'll jump on the pair and try to get on top as well. Sometimes the female will vigorously try to kick him off as well as the male on top will also violently kick to try to prevent that from happening. This can get pretty crazy sometimes, and males will start piling up on the female. And there are instances where the female may actually drown in this process. 
toads breathe air from the surface and they need to come up and breathe like you can see this female right now. Another way the mated pair will try to avoid other males is by diving down in the water. And you'll see frequently that when another male approaches, they'll dive down only to resurface somewhere else in another location in the pond. The males are very sensitive to movement. And not only will they jump on other toads, but there are instances where they'll jump out to your hand and grasp on. The competition can be fierce. You can see here the female is in the background. While these four males continue to spar and compete and to sing and attract females and compete for the attention. It's really fascinating to watch toads in this process and seeing the activity between the males and the interactions with the female. It's just a constant turnover of events and constant things happening in the pond. It's really great to watch. Well, thank you for watching this episode of Nature at Door. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I do. I couldn't tear myself away. I couldn't stop filming. I have an hour or more of footage. Hey, if you like nature and you like learning about nature, I cover everything from woodland wildflowers to insects and mushrooms and fungi, millipedes, centipedes, snakes and birds. Check it out. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.